So let's try to see. Let's see. Try and test in. I just want to go testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Let's see. Test, test, testing, one, two, three. 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 Testing, one, three. I had the mic here. Let me see if it sounds any different than what I normally hear. Let me see. Is it working? Is it working? Is it working? Let's see. Up, down, up, down, up, around, up, around. Is it working? Let's see. Okay. Awesome. Awesome peoples. I got a lot to tell you today and a lot of different things. And I'm trying to see how can I present it to you. I mean, I have one camera to the phone and I have to kind of turn it around. But look what you look at see. I'm trying to be a little more. I don't want to say it's professional. I had to order some extra stuff. Mic. Well, I have two. And here's, you can look at the setup here if you can see it. You know, I like to, people like to say, how you put this together? Look around me. I'm just like, you know, I ain't nobody special in terms of what people may say. Are you get a podcast? Well, podcast, I see we have a mic. And they have, I was going to make a party, a mic, and just talking to a mic. You don't have to see the connection. And, or the mic could be up here, or it could be there, it could be anywhere. As long as you're talking to it, people go, it's just professional. It's professional. It's really professional. Well, I got a mic. And I'm talking to you. And therefore, it should be professional, right? I got two mics. Got this one and that one. It's professional, right? Well, I hope so. But here's the thing. I got a lot to tell you today. And that's the intro. I'll put it with the other one. You see, I have another one I have to put the way I was like doing testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. I'll tell you about it soon. I'm just going to put them together because I want to make a small clip, then a bigger clip. I'll talk slower. Small clip, then bigger clip because I have a lot to tell you. And it's going to be very important, okay? So, we're going to go for some desire pages. We're going to go for some of the Bible, King James Version, Old and New Testament. And you're going to go, well, you're going to hear the Notebook do a piece. Going to keep charging the stuff here because I don't know how long the batteries last. I charged them last week and I'm like, serious already? And I got the mic on, so I should be more consistent with the sound. See, I got cables all over the place here. You see real time stuff here. Okay? I told you, so I and I keeping it real. I don't got time to pretend and be anything else. And what I want to tell you something very insignificant too. You know, a lot of times people say, "I have something. I have an idea. I have something," and prove it to me. And I heard another a wonderful gentleman, Pastor Walter White, say, "Why do I have to prove it to you? I already have the answer. You need to prove it to yourself." So I'm not going to necessarily give you all the answers that I have here and the evidences I have here. It's in the Bible already. So why should I have to prove to you what's already written there? It's self-evident. This is going to talk also about some stuff we talk about here. Where people say, show me a sign. Show me proof. Show me evidences. Jesus said, those no one did die and come back from the grave. They wouldn't believe. He was right. So are we the same? Are we different? We got a lot to talk about. I'm going to talk to you guys some real stuff here today. Because I'm like, we got, we, we got things to do. We got work to do. And people have been playing around. Enough of this. Enough of this. Okay? So let's give God's word praise. And we're going to start it off with a word of prayer. Before we get to the bigger part, okay? So join me. I prayed before I started everything. You know, I like to kind of get God's word in here. And I'm not, I don't be cocky or prideful. You know, I want to give God praise in everything I do. So I say, well, let's ask God to help us, okay? And not just I do, because I and I, you and I, you and I, you and me, everybody. I don't know who may watch these videos from where, what part. So I say good morning, good afternoon, happy Sabbath, God bless you, wherever you are. And I'm not doing this to say for, you're going to earn money monetize. There's something bigger than money. This treasure, I want treasure in heaven. So I'm not doing this to monetize. We got about two, three hundred subscribers so far. God bless. I hope we get more. But not just subscribe to me. Subscribe to King Jesus. Because I saw one person put in a, on a, one of the, um, the things we posted with the little young, the young lion saying, um, I put the lion saying that the books of Daniel and Revelation are speaking. And I'm tagging it to the store at MattTV.com. And they are speaking. You just got to listen to what voice it's, how it's coming through. You can tell a story one way. But you ever asked why Jesus told the story in parables? Now, I'm not equipping myself to Jesus, but I'm saying there's a reason why he used parables. There's a reason why Revelation and Daniel also written in symbolic form. We can't, in these times we live in, we can't necessarily say exactly what we want to say and how we're saying it. I keep looking at myself in the video. I'm like, I seem to get dark and dark every time I get the video on. See this Griggs here? See this Griggs here? You saw the video about the villages? If you didn't see it yet, take a look. I had a come into age moment where I had to say, wow, it's real. And even if it's gray, I say, so be it. I will take it. When God says, I need to have a word sent out. I need to have things. You, you up my video again, Lisa. Do you want to join me? You're welcome. No, off, no offense. You can, you're welcome. They come and attack me when I have my reading and the reading going on, right? But you want to hear the word? I'll tune in. You have one here. I saw some other ones on the wall. You're a smart looker. Look at the colors and patterns. It's okay. Don't harm the other ones, okay? You jump in there too? No. Nah, they, never, they never cease. You want to hear the word? Is that a threatening way when you do that? You're going to jump on my face like, oh, like ah! <laughs> no. Oh, he jumped over here. All right. So the word rebukes him. So, no, nah, no, nah, I know he wants to hear the word. I'll with you. You want to hear the word? God bless. Hopefully you guys tune in too. The lizard want to hear the word. I remember God said, if the, 
If the children first days don't cry, Hosanna, Hosanna, the rocks will cry out. Yeah? The rocks are going to burst out soon and say something. We got we to gotta speak. Not to be shy anymore. Not kitty cats. Not playing around. Speak God's word and be, speak it forcefully. Do I have to be a masters of doctors, of masters, of masters, of masters, of saying to speak to you in God's word? No. As God said, <laughs> I will take the simple thing and confound the wise. And I will take the wise. Confound them because you're thinking they're too wise. If you're wise in the world but not wise towards God, there's a problem. There's a problem. Pride comes before a fall. I'm gonna give you God's word. Let God word speak for itself. I will give you what God lays on my heart to speak. All the words I speak only of my own in terms of what I say if I have anything that's contrary or in addition to God's word. But God's word is, is sufficient, it's enough. He is the desire of ages, and we'll get to it. This is written by Ellen G. White by the grace of God. And thank God she's a lesser light. Give him little light, little details and the little things. The little things, you see, like the little things. She did the little details. See my eyes like this. Bah, bah, bah. And I can still see all the stuff here. She's given the little details of the stuff. She's given the nitty gritty inside the words. Like I was talking to my uncle this morning. He was asking, you see, why, why, why did why did Uzzah, why did Uzzah die? Was he trying to keep steady the ark when he was tippling over in the Old Testament? At first I looked at it and I said, God would do that? Why? I said, Lord, he said, it might be, might be to it. And this is the thing. If we don't know the full details of the story let us reserve judgment and hold off until we get more details hold off on making a final conclusion we must hear a whole matter out in, an, it's in, in its entirety before we speak it's better to be quick to listen slow to speak and i mean i maybe mean literally too slow to speak so i will say let us read the whole bible from beginning to end and in context if we have a question and we're not certain about some point then say you see that's it don't pick and choose phrases to just say this is what it is or verses this is it or, or chapter this is what god says to justify what we believe in let's pick and choose god's word as it is and let it be the whole thing don't give me appetizers little ding, 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 ding. give me the whole meal i want food i want jesus you need jesus too he desires i desire jesus in my life for everything i do and so each one of us. So by the grace of God, let us do this together. So we'll open this in prayer. And it is beautiful. Oh, I like this phrase. Oh, I'm dying to get to it. Look at this phrase. Oh, it's in John. It says, in the beginning was the word. John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word, the word was with God. And the word, capital word, was God. Awesome. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So who made the garden of Eden? Who made creation for the beginning of Genesis? Jesus Christ, okay? I'm giving him credit, okay? And the light shined in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Does that make sense to you? And the light shined in the darkness. Didn't God say, let your light so shine that you may glorify... Let me paraphrase that. Let your light so shine... And I'm paraphrase. See, a long time I read it. I'll make sure I got the verse right, right? That the men may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven... So don't glorify me or men. And I'm not asking money for these things. Like say, hey, would you need to monetize? No, the videos are going up there. And they choose to monetize if they want to. They choose ads if they want to. God bless them. Okay, like the lizard crawling across. I ain't asking them to come, but these you want to listen to? God bless them too. He's listening. Maybe hunting the other in mean, lizard. I don't know. But I'm saying, they can do what they want with the videos of how they want it. But I'm going to speak God's word as it is, straight and plain. And as it comes out, straight and plain. So when they say, prove it, show me. I don't got to prove and show you anything, honestly. You got to prove it to yourself. Because I can tell you a million things and you can still say, I don't care. So, why should I be the one? I don't have the burden to proof. Burden of proof to prove something to you. You need to prove it to yourself. That's between you and God. Spiritual things are spiritually discerned. Okay? So, if you need to understand something, I've got to try the Spirit. So, I'm going to give you a Spirit. I'm going to give you the Holy Spirit in God's Word. And you can choose to choose it and take it how you like it. In the sense that I hope you take it the right way, as God says, and build on it. And why is men will keep taking stuff, men say men, men and women included, and keep building on it? But the higher level of, or the F O L, I want to call it for, I'm going by for those, those who hear God's word and refuse to listen to God's word, who are adamant and stubborn and stiff necked, they will hear God's word and maybe hear thunder or lightning. What did he say? What did he say? So let's be different. Let's study God's word together and let's give God praise. I love God's word. That's what saved my life and keeping me going. Despite everything in the world around me. I could be living in bombs and bullets flying around me now. I'm like, Lord, thank God you give me a break. The one I want to tell you today, we want to talk about something about. Taking a break, taking a Shabbat, taking a Sabbath break, take a rest, come and rest a while. But to get to it, we have to go to a couple things too. So it's going to be in the Desire of Ages, this one over here. But also going to hear some stuff in the Bible and Gospel of John, in John chapter 6, as well as in Proverbs chapter 20. I want you to read something to you. And I might, some will be to know the break, some will be to tap back and forth. But I want you to understand. 
We have a lot of witnesses in this world. Some like ripples in the pond where you may drop a stone in the pond and you see the wave, wave effects go across. I can show you a thousand different um, screenshots and different kind of special effects and all that stuff there. But I ain't got the budget and honestly the time doesn't equate. And also it's good for us to use the imagination. Sometimes when you don't hear anything, there's a reason why the Bible is not like in a visual story. It's not like a movie. He didn't give us a movie. But we do make movies about the Bible. But should the movies replace and negate the Bible, the actual reading of the Word? No. I want to read the Word as it is, plain and simple. Because something about touching the pages, feeling the words, saying it, reading it, going over, going back and forth, and turning the pages actually adds something to it. There's a beauty in sitting down and reading a good book, including this holy, special book. There's a beauty in reading God's Word. There's a beauty in sitting down and taking a time and a break and to have a terminus, have a every week a cycle. Seven days. Start from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Start again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday, Saturday. But there are people, there are groups right now who are thinking of change, change the times and laws of saying now instead of making it Sunday, the first day, the sun, which is like the sun, the biggest, uh, you know, one of the biggest on the solar system right now, right? Well, not the biggest, it's actually bigger ones, but in our solar system. Sunday, then moon day two, right? First and second. Saturday ends up being Saturday, I mean the fifth, the seventh. But now, I said what I say right now, seventh. But some people say now, let me make Monday the first day. Monday the first, Tuesday the second, Wednesday the third, Thursday the 4th, Friday the 5th, Saturday the 6th and the 7th. <laughs> That's creative theology. I say, I'll go, I'll go by the Jewish calendar. And I'll go by what God did, how he did it his way. Because we used to have pets and even animals around where we lived back in the Caribbean. And even they knew on the Sabbath. Saturday they knew that we ain't working them. They ain't doing things. They were actually resting under the trees and just relaxing and, and just chilling. What about us? We're so busy. We're busy and busy. We make busy tired. Seriously. We're so busy doing everything. And not necessarily bad. We're doing things trying to earn a living, take your family, take your kids, take your obligations, job, work, things, read, spread the message, spread the gospel, even missionary work. Another thing about missionary work too. I got a lot of things to tell you. We keep, you know, I keep reading stories about missionaries going, and this is not the gate from them. Missionaries going to different areas and lands and spreading the gospel and trying to spread messages to everybody around the world. And sometimes they go with no protections. I can understand the time where they didn't have protections whereby they didn't have an army or something to go with them beforehand and they went to speak to people in different areas and stuff. And you come into some territories that are unfamiliar, maybe hostile. You don't have any protections. I'm not negating, no, because somebody might hear this and take it out of context. What I'm saying is this. If you're going to go to some place that's hostile, you need to do the adequate research, if possible, and protections need, need to be given to him or her or them. Do not send the people out into hostile regions without adequate protections or coverages. If you can't have someone do it for them, you do it yourself. And if it's not safe to go, don't send them. God's laws, and this is my humble opinion here, God's laws are written in our hearts and our minds. Many people may never know or even hear the name of Jesus Christ. They may, hear, they may never hear the word in English. What does Jesus' name sound like in that tribe that's in the mountain on that volcano ash area that don't know the word of God and so that in, they don't know it in words? What does it sound like to them? Are they going to be lost? Are these children lost? Are these, not, are these not God's children too? If the whole earth is His and He made all them for His glory and honor, are they going to be lost? So who are we to determine what is the right way that God will speak to people and how He will do it? Who are we to determine what's clean and unclean? What's normal? What's not normal? Who are we to make that? Who make to make that determination? If God is a judge, why are we judging people? Let God speak for Himself. So I say this to say that take everything in totality. Try the spirits as God says. Take a break. Rest. Take some time. Take a Shabbat. I don't want to meet them. Talk to me. Man, explain to me. I ain't done a man explain to me. We need to take some time off apart. And he said, how the camera shift angle like this? Not to do it with the, with the, with the moist, but I'm, I'm still connected to the charger, so I can't do that. See? 